Hi and welcome to Dan's Diagnostics. Today we've got a 2019 Ford Focus with a battery drain on it. And today I'm going to show you my way of setting up to carry out a battery drain. Let's crack on. So I wasn't actually going to do a video on this, however I've decided I will. As you can see, first off, it has got a new battery fitted. It's a non-standard, non-genuine Ford battery. And the battery died, drained again, so it's been towed into us. So what I always like to do, first and foremost, is get the battery fully charged, which I've done yesterday. And the battery disconnected overnight. We're now set up, ready to do the test. Fuse box is underneath the battery junction box on these. So as you can see, I've had to connect up a lead to get power to these fuses, to do a volt drop test across these fuses. Next, we walk around and we make sure that all the doors, boot, everything open. We latch all of the latches. No interior lights are on. Everything's now nicely asleep on the car. As you can see, I've got the tailgate open. Everything is set up and ready to go. So next test is let's check the battery. So I always like to use the Top Don BT600 battery tester. If you've not seen the video I've already done on this, I've done a review. I do find it being a really, really good tester. Just connect the leads up. Machine comes on, you see there straight away 12.13 volts, not the best, but should be enough to carry out the test. Battery test, it is an enhanced flooded battery, see 760. Saying good charging, health 40%, charged only 29%. For the sake of just doing this video, we'll leave it at that. Right, so now with that disconnected, I'd like to show you the tools that I like to use. So, let's start with the tools I use for the job. I have a multimeter that can go to 20 amp scale on the amp setting. I use three different leads, nice large crocodile clip, small crocodile clip, and then just a nice back probing tool. You'll see why in a minute. A second multimeter for volt drop testing on the fuses. So as you can see now, I've now got my black lead in my comms port, my red lead in my 20 amp scale for the amperage port. Red lead, we just have a small banana clip on, uh, banana clip, small crocodile clip. And over here on the end of the black lead, we've got a large crocodile clip. You notice I've also jumped in the back of it with a little back probe. And this is one way that I like to connect. So now what we do with the little crocodile clip, we just connect it to the battery terminal. Then, if we just use our uh, back probe, just sit it on top of the battery post. As we slide the post up, we're now connected nicely in series. With the large crocodile clip, we can just put that around the battery post. When we slide that off, pop a little cover over there to prevent them touching. And there we go, we're now connected in series. And when we look down at our multimeter, this, as you can see, this car's got a large drain on it, very large drain. The car is actually asleep. So give me two ticks to put this back together and I'll show you the other way that I like to use. So now what I've done, I've connected the large crocodile clip up here to the negative battery post. Just here we've got a nice little chassis ground, so we'll connect up to that. What we're now going to do is the lead. We're going to remove it from the chassis for the battery negative terminal. Just wind this off. And what we can do then, because we are now connected in series with through our multimeter, when we remove this, move that away from the chassis, you can see now that we've got a 3.2 amp drain on the vehicle. So, now what we're going to do next is do voltage drop testing across the fuses, which we've made sure we can have access to, fitting our lead. Get to this fuse box. The body control module lives underneath the glove box in the passenger side, so we'll be able to get to these as well. 